you going, Taurus? I have your uh, quick daily read. Uh, what we're going to do is we I take three different decks. Okay, we pull seven cards out of each deck. Okay, so that's 234 cards. We'll only pull 21 cards out to see what comes out for the spiritual message today. Um, see if we get any doubles or any triples for um, the double little and triple emphasis on the spiritual message. All right, we're going to get straight into it. I hope you're happy and healthy. All right, we we'll start straight off with clarity, victory, truth. Yeah, the swords of truth. Yeah, clarity, shooting straight into that third eye. Yeah, continue to beat to your own drum, okay? Continue to be you, and that's the best play. It's like the victory is in you being yourself, okay? And and being unapologetically you, okay? Like the best part about that is, is like a million trillion ideas and, and, and bringing them into with passion in order to be yourself and, and love and life and having that inspiration is, is perfect, you know? Especially with um, that type of energy there. It shows like you are a magnetic symph symphony, you know, in itself, and it's playing like drums beating all over the place. You're on your soul journey at the present moment and I can see that and you're finding meaning in that and you're guaranteed success and happiness and that's for sure. Okay, and you are calling on that purpose of, and passion and that ability to manifest into your dreams, into your reality. I can see that thoroughly. Um, and um, you, you, yeah, you're creating gold at the present moment, okay? Especially as you ascend to new levels. Yeah, you're planning at the present moment with the world in front of yourself and you can see that there. She's She's dreaming, you're manifesting, and you're manifesting for your dreams at the present moment, but don't don't push too hard, okay? You're on a pers pursuit, I suppose, the best way to say it, okay? Don't let things play on your mind uh, thoroughly. Continue to beat to your own drum because the clarity of truth will be right there, right in your noggin as you, ooh. One of the most important things that you have learned on your journey. That's what Spirit just said. Um, yeah, continue to be you. You're a focused determination. You're a spark of ideas. You are radiant. Continue uh, with the two to two here. So those two twos are beautiful. Okay, that's um uh, their numbers. So twenty two is a is a number for you to think about at the present moment. And it means stop worrying. Everything is um working out just as it's supposed to, and trust that you're on a good path at the present moment, especially with that. Um, in that self and and you're on a journey at the present moment spirit would like you to know that thoroughly okay you're growing in your mind and you're growing thoroughly um you do have um, a lot of choices and you've made uh, you do have you're planning choices okay because she's planning and that's choice in itself so you're planning at the present moment but when you plan and and, and uh, you do that uh, spirit wants you to know to do it um to seek inner guidance because you're leveling to a new level of ascension i did say that before but that's come through again and you, you, you're you a spark of ideas, okay? You're growing, sp spit the deck. You're growing, yeah? You're being unconditional love, okay? And, and in that Mother Gaia energy. So it shows that you have the creative abilities to um, um, fearlessly pursue any dreams that you've got and that success is found. Uh, the ability to su successfully manage and c calculate any risk is, is per perfect eh? as you push past any fear. Happy endings. <laughs> Spirit's funny, man. Uh, uh, being very realistic, yes. Sorry. Um, yeah, so Spirit wants you to know that um, you've got a choice at the present moment to go within. And when you make that choices and, and you plan to do it out of a balanced mindset, okay, and um, continue to look up and keep continue to keep the faith, especially when you're manifesting at the present moment, okay? Um, you are learning to be the abundance. The next card self-realization okay this is an epiphany okay the reason i say it's an epiphany is because that's an epiphany and that's an epiphany in itself so it shows that you have um a lot of thoughts going around in that mind as you plan and you think okay at the present moment um spirit wants you because that's your card there to know that in itself okay as you as you as you plan he wants you to think he wants you to um make a balanced decisions especially of that world in front of yourself and think think um think radically yeah because we do have the world in front and the world here i can't see the cards that are on the screen in front of me but when i look down i'm just looking at the um cards um so spirit says the world is there because you're completing something out okay and that's putting uh, boundaries in place but actioning on those boundaries and with the world it's like um it gives you that new level of awareness but the next step is the fool and that's beautiful especially with um we did have the mother Gaia energy come through before but as the horror fun it shows that you're you're you are your own guru and guru and it's and it's deep rooted in your highest guidance which is rooted in your faith okay as you lead with your evolution and confidence okay and that authority and that generous mindset that you have and taking that ex action with that calculated risk that come through before Especially with um, that authority, the power, and those boundaries that you put in with the success, okay? It shows that you're a natural leader. Uh, we're going to flick the decks and have a look at what's coming out in the next one. 
Yeah, you are strengthening itself, and you are you are beautiful in that. As you focus your goals on um, that future of yours, and you're tuning into your soul song. That's the best way to say it because uh, this is learning, and it's and it's epiphany in itself. Okay, but clarity, like an aha moment, as you're tuning into your soul song, soul song, and you're learning to lead with your heart, and that success is at the at an end of a long journey, if that makes sense. And you've been you've been planning that for a while, and we can see that um, thoroughly as we as you walk towards your limitations, I suppose. But they're limited that are inspired by innovations okay that bridge between worlds because we do have a bridge here between worlds on your card and it shows that you have see the bridge between the the two choices there but it shows that you're you're like leveling up because this is self-realization but it's also redemption as well as you free the spirit in order to um be yourself okay because next to that i've got the horrified who's leveling up in some sort of way and it shows that uh with that with that judgment card divine judgment has been called and it gives you the chance to know that your um your heart and your motives are true and that's beautiful spirit knows that and that's thorough um but it gives your essence a chance to share your voice and be the best version of yourself people may have left you out in the cold okay and and trapped you in your mind over a lot of things okay but you're stepping in the right direction to yeah, in order to maybe bring in some sort of love, but you could also be just the type of soul that wears their heart on their heart on their sleeve, okay? Especially when it comes to higher consciousness and that innovative ways of thinking in order for yourself to be the, the best version of yourself. So it does show with that line that just came through before, it's a time to be courageous and stand up to your fear and, and, and that sacred win that you're going for at that great time. Yeah, you're learning at the present moment, okay? Especially with these two cards here, it shows that you're learning. See how she's learning here? Uh, see all the... All the all the knowledge and stuff that's shooting into that brain, but it shows that your downloads are teaching you to uh, learn. That also can be a card of like viewing your outside world with a good perspective, okay, especially with that inner guru there. Uh, you are ready to pounce, I suppose. See the cat in front of there? It shows somebody's ready to pounce, okay, but when you're ready, you'll you'll pounce on what you want. And when you're when you're ready, you'll be ready to it'll be a great time to take that risk on the dream that you which is within your reach because the light's there. And we can see that you might be running towards love because I do have a two, a two, and a two, which puts us back to the original saying, Don't worry, you're on your right path. And she, with that two of swords there, you can see the path and then there's your card with the path in the background there it shows your level of ascension you may be thinking about love or thinking about sprinting towards love or because so i did see that night of um knight of cups come through before yeah and you are fearless at the present moment split the decks yeah uh, but you just may it's a card of enlightenment that card there which is the hangman it can be a different perspective needed okay but um it's a card of enlightenment it shows that you're ready to release um and and let just go with the flow of the universe and allow the cosmos um to provide for you and that's beautiful especially when it comes to love uh be ready to um lean into your world with limitless p potentials and surrender to the will of the cosmos and have that reflection i suppose or the inner reflection because before that I've got the hermit which is inner and then that card came out which is reflection you can see that you are going towards love in some sort of way because you are love and you know what love is so therefore you are appreciative of love you can see the card there in the back of the cup in the background it's the holy grail out of all the queens um, they have chalices whereas this one has a holy grail of love and it shows the arcs of the covenant as those downloads shoot in and it shows it's um it's uh, it's a good good chance to move ahead I suppose is the best way to say it as you walk towards your light and know that um, seeing the light in others and seeing the likeness in others can know more about yourself by sharing your gifts and talents because it did get that with kindred spirits kindred souls and, and things that are on the same path because they see that on the same path and then the horror fund's got the same path and then the divine judgment there shows that of that redemption as you have as a glorious unveiling of spirit okay and we've got a beautiful temperance angel here it shows that you are the balance of masculine and feminine but it also can show that you in divine timing and and having a bit of patience okay and that's a bit part about that card is it shows with the temperance okay the temperance is a, a beautiful card it's um, one of the seven heavenly virtues the seven deadly sins of sloth and gluttony and and um all that sort of stuff it shows that with the temperance is one of the seven heavenly virtues okay and it shows that you are walking the middle path okay we do have love coming in in some sort of way and i can see that and it is fated to happen that way okay but at the present moment spirit saying just take some time out and heal maybe split the deck yeah heal from somebody leaving you out in the cold some ostracizing some obstacles that you've been through in your life okay um you every day you're knowing more and more about yourself and that's beautiful spirit says that as you're finding your kindred souls and collaborating in itself and having those opportunities to be seen and witness that sacred evolution of connectedness and oneness of us all and it shows that you're fearless at the present moment um and and you are beautiful that's for sure and it shows that within connecting with source and having that opening of all seven chakras as they open up and allowing your soul to shine and be consistent in its practice and continue that as i've got levels of ascension here and so ooh, two cards came 
came out at once. You know your worth, okay? And that's the best part about that. You know your value, you know what you bring to relationships. So you're not gonna be playing with that fuck shit which traps you in your mind. And you know, people playing on those mind, especially um, with the loves coming in and things like that. And it's faded to work that way. But so any love comes in that you won't be allowing that to trap you in your mind, okay? Because you've learned in life because above that, I've got page of swords and clarity above that as the hermit leads beats their own drum, which means that introspection leads you towards that. You have been thinking about that at the present moment, about completing something out, but it's also that wholeness as you as you rise to new levels, okay? Because above that, I've got the world in front of her the, to the two of uh, wands there, which shows planning. And then I've got love underneath that shows planning. And I can show that there's completion and wholeness in those plans. And it shows that you will become completion with that the whole center around balancing love, balancing love, if that makes sense, and your card with that ascension as you come through with the balance of masculine to feminine, balance of on and off, balance of true or false, balance of negative to positive. You can see that you're not allowing anybody to play around or stress or manipulate in any type of way, and you've ended that out with the world, split the deck. Uh, yeah, we've come straight back to this um, hollow victories and these um, ostracizing people leaving you out in the cold, okay? Um, it's, uh, you put boundaries in place, okay? And you've worked hard on it in your pursuit, okay? Towards your 10 of cups. And we can see that you've worked very, very, very hard and you're enthusiastic at the present moment and enthusiastic and infectious even with those uh, boundaries you've put in place. But it's time to heal and put those boundaries in place because something is faded around the 10 of cups. So release any fear at the present moment and release any fear around any type of uh, mental jousting, I suppose, and, and come come at it clear with clear communication, I suppose, and have your morals in place because it's coming straight back to that first Ace of Swords there, okay? So clear any mindset, mind games up or anything that's playing around in that mindset in order to have those boundaries and heal at the present moment as we walk towards that, the world there. And you're doing it with action. That's before, because see, she's got the, she knows her worth, so she's putting action towards it as you walk away from things and, and walk towards that unconditional love of yourself. So you're healing yourself and then it leads to this healing of putting those boundaries in place and charging towards that excellence of who you are. We can see that you are definitely putting boundaries in place and you know your worth and that's beautiful okay because a person that knows their worth puts boundaries in place and knows who they are has pride in themselves and and knows it unconditionally who they are and that's beautiful um, we're going straight under the queen of cups here with that um, holy grail of love yeah we're putting an ending i suppose because we got a world here and putting a completion okay because you know your worth see you know your worth so you're putting a completion in place with the completion here of anybody that stabbed you in the back and the best part about that is anybody that wanted to play mind games with you anybody that wanted to play any type of thorough especially around people from the past or nostalgia or any thoughts and things like that um you're putting an end to it okay and knowing that you are love you're able to do that the ten of swords is the finish and completion to that especially the world be world before that shows definite completion in itself but the ten of swords shows that you have character as you um have have gone through all of the eight of voices and swords where they've trapped you in your mind and trapped you and and bound you in some sort of way the seven of deceptions and lies and trickeries, the fives of hollow victories, which came through before, and the nines of stag nights, and, and, and that you're allowing yourself to heal and put those boundaries in place before you charge towards what you're charging towards because you have something coming in that's fated, okay? And then the world is up here as well, so it shows that that's com going to complete that out, okay? But you, there's a self realization and epiphany that needs to take place. Split the deck, yeah? You do have love coming in, and there it is, there, okay? It's the same card that I pulled up here, and it is fated to come in, but there's some sort of nostalgia or some sort of thoughts that are possibly there in the first place that need to clear out, okay, which will bring in happiness, okay, and Feng Shui, I suppose, that's what I just heard, Feng Shui, of a happiness for a brighter outcome. You are love, and that's the truth, you're emotionally, intuitively intelligent, okay, because I have the Hierophant to the Temperance Angel of balancing that masculine to feminine energies, and the best part about it is you've completed all those Ten of Swords and Ten of Voices out, so therefore, we come into our emotional, intuitively intelligence, because it is fated for you to have that, you just need to be enthusiastic that at the present moment, because something is coming in very, very, very fast, okay, and it's a level up, okay, and you, of course, you co-create with the Divine Split the Deck, Beautiful. Just release any burdens at the present moment. Um, and this will be our last card. Yeah, just release any burdens around any hollow victories, any stress, anybody teasing, anybody manipulating, anybody um, hollow victories where um, there's no winner at all. So gossip, things like that, okay? So with the deck. Yeah, because you're, yeah, you're using logic at the present moment. The King of Swords is somebody who is, um, I'm dealing with somebody who has the logic to make the right decisions, okay? Because in the Two of Swords, okay, it's choice. And in that King of Swords, it has two swords in it. It shows that you're smart enough and wise enough after healing and putting boundaries in place and putting action towards it that you are able to put um, things in place in order to make the right decisions, okay? And that right decision will lead you to your joy. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day and just take care, okay? This is a beautiful reading. The whole reading is centered around you 
um, being the holy grail of love, okay, and love being offered in some sort of way, especially with um, the Knight of Cups coming in, and it's a divine love, okay, because but it's coming in a divine timing, and it is fated to happen that way. We can see that it is debated, fated to happen that way, but there is something that needs to be released, okay, at the present moment along the way. But all Spirit's asking you to do is continue to be yourself and, and beat your own drum. Plan, manifest, and do the best things and learn in life, but learn about your values and the things that you bring to relationships and, and heal and just be the best version of yourself as you have your level of ascension and continue to walk on, on who you are with self-realization and have those epiphany moments because Spirit knows your heart and your motives to be true. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day and take care and God bless.